A new study shows that Gen Z Asian American women are less whitewashed than before in their dating preferences. We're going to break down this study if we even believe it or not. Bro, I don't know how me and the rest of the Alpha Six feel about this, bro. I mean, I kind of like the old way, but I guess things always change, bro. Oh, uh, we got to talk about it. There's a brand new study that got published from the University of Maryland, I believe, by a Korean woman and a LGBT Vietnamese researcher, and it is titled Asian American Women's Racial Preferences, an Investigation of Internalized Racism, Resistance, and Empowerment Against Racism, wow. and the Desire for Status. Wow, wow, wow. Very loaded. All right, so we're going to go through quickly who carried out the study, how, who did they poll, which is important as well, but also the main five findings that you got to understand about the study. What are the my, five things that if you watch this video and if you read the study, you should take away from it, David? Bro, I just want to know if they're less whitewashed because that's bad for me and my bros. Dude, Dude Cody, <laughs> Cody, man, like, I don't even know what whitewash means, bro. It's like, pff, my grandfather spoke Spanish, so, like, I'm not even white, Also, bro. I'm kind of like a Jack Harlow type of white. It's, like, different. Yeah, I got, yeah, you got curly hair, bro. You could be, like, Greek passing, but either way, let's get into it, David. Make uh, sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out Smile Sauce at SmileOutSauce.com. Let's take a look at the ab abstract, Andrew. The initial sentence goes, Asian American women's racialized dating choices have drawn widespread attention, both in academic and public spheres. However, little empirical research has examined racially relevant sociocultural factors that may affect this population's dating and physical attraction preferences. All right, so David, real quick, do you kind of know who was polled for this like what groups uh do they say or are we just gonna assume we know it is a volunteer study done by women's groups on campus also random signups on the university of maryland campus okay so they had a volunteer and i'm assuming they did not survey a bunch of the sorority girls but they, it, but, but they probably would not opt in on this right because you had to actively give the give give your survey into this so so does that skew the stats or does that tell an accurate picture i hope it's accurate uh if these scientists did their job they tried to get a good enough read on it of course everything in this life when you're doing scientific studies it's very difficult because uh everybody can just do whatever they want and the volunteer population may be skewed or biased, but you All try right. to do the best you so, can. So what are the findings, David? What are the top five things that dudes got to recognize? Whoa, 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 here, so let's just go through real quick some of the, the, the things in the study. Internalized racism. Internalized racism is one sociocultural factor that may influence Asian Americans, women's racialized and physical attraction choices. Resistance and empowerment against racism, Andrew. It has a lot to do, apparently, with how much women identify as BIPOC or freedom fighters against the machine. Okay. Um, the next one is also internalized racism. Like we said, uh, desire for status, dating preferences, physical attractiveness. And they basically charted all these data analytics. You know, we're going to pop up some of the charts right here. Let's just get to the findings, Andrew. Asian guys came out on top. Asian guys ultimately came out on top when, when you took the aggregate mean from all the Asian women polled. However, Andrew, how they arrived to that was by scoring number two out of five for a lot of the categories. Oh, so you're saying that it's kind of like uh, by the ranking is by a point system, almost where like Asian guys ended up ranking number one overall, but not because they ranked number one in anything, but because they ranked number two in everything. It's a little bit like how AirPods always win all the Bluetooth headphone contest but they're never like the best at anything hey. so basically uh however asian guys were ranked more number one by less political asian women um so here's the interesting thing some women really liked white guys and some women in the study really liked black or latino guys but asian guys were always number two so you know interesting Woo, number two uh, Asian, amongst Asian women, yeah, yeah. hell Asian, yeah. yeah. Asian girls who wanted status and wealth went white. Asian girls who wanted resistance and empowerment went black or Latino. Um, interestingly enough, Andrew, Latino guys ranked the highest on the raw attractiveness score. Dude, Latinos. I mean, Latinos. Uh, Latino girls too, though. I mean, Latinas, Latinos, they kind of got... A great mixture of like somewhat ethnic looks, not to one way. Slightly but like, Asian looking too sometimes. Yeah, some they got some Asian features, white features, some black features. It's like 
there, there's this crazy triangulation that, so I don't know, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. So apparently Asian girls find Ryan Garcia, Gar, Garcia pretty attractive. Right, right, right. He doesn't look like a white, white boy, but he is a, a whitish boy. But what about Canelo? Canelo looks white. Anyway, um, it shows that um, there is an increased cringe factor amongst Gen Z Asian women when it comes to the power dynamics behind white male Asian female couples. And whatever implications may hold true for Asian women, Andrew, they said in the study, it often is mirrored by the LGBT male Asian community. So basically, whatever is true for Asian women is also true for LGBT Asian men. And it seems like there's increased cringe around the idea of being dominated by white guys. Yeah, I've I've heard this from uh, LGBT Asian guys. We're saying like, hey, Asian guys also get fetishized, but also disrespected in the LGBT world. And also now a lot of Asian LGBT Asians are like, eh, it's kind of cringe to go date a bunch of white dudes and whatever. Like we over that. Right, right, right. I do think there's an overall trend against the Trump, Donald Trump Jr., Tucker Carlson, boat shoe, privileged, old money Hamptons archetype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I mean, at the end of the day, those guys still have those those white dudes in power who are in the Hamptons. They still have plenty of options. Right, they but still I, run a lot of but America. Yeah. yeah, but I do think obviously there's a lot of politics and kind of like the zeitgeist is kind of going against them. Like, yo, these old money whites are like kind of messing up society. So I'm not with them. Right, you know. Right, but right. like, I want a a white, like maybe the girls are like, I'd like to date a white guy who wears aloe shoes or, uh, you know, hokas and Nike runners. You know what I mean? Like, I would say a less so a socially awkward Zuckerberg type. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, a white guy who wears birds, birds, all bird shoes or Vessi. Oh yeah. Vessies. Yeah. I do think that white people in general kind of got canceled, whether it's like upper middle class to rich women who are Karens who demand everything or like problematic broskies with the boat shoes and the old money privilege and the assets or whatever. Um, let's just get into the comments section, Andrew. Some guy said, you know, I do think it's changing, but only by like 20 to 30%. Uh, could you buy that? Agree or disagree? I think I could agree with this. I think that culture is for sure changing, but culture changes slow. And um, I think it's a little bit like BMW or Mercedes, Andrew. BMW and Mercedes, they're still the top car brands, but Tesla and Kia, they're coming up. Like people are seeing the value of Teslas and Kias. Right, right, right. Um, number two, Andrew, this is the second main comment. Somebody said, these stats don't mean anything if you can't get granular with Asian born women versus Asian more American women born in white zones versus Asian American women born in enclaves versus Asian girls born in the hood. I need to see the, the stats cross section with who was political and non-political. Uh, I don't know even why you needed to get that granular, to be honest. I feel like those statistics would just come out to be how you kind of expect. So <laughs> a, a, women from Asia prefer Asian men a little bit more. And Asian American women who grew up in a white town, maybe less. Right, Whoa, right. That seems logical. Uh, Asian girls from the hood probably date but, people from the But hood, David, yeah. let's, let's dive into this part because I think there was an interesting discussion about how if an Asian woman in America is more political, whether left or right, or maybe they feel more like minority based, like, yo, I'm fighting for the rights of black and brown people. Obviously that Asian woman is going to be more open to dating black and brown versus maybe a Republican Asian woman who might marry white and maybe Asian. Yes, yes, yes. The most girl that, that the girl that preferred Asian men as the, her number one was typically apolitical. And if you were either hyper left, you either pre pre liked super left kind of like the guy that AOC's with like redheads, like soft looking redhead guys or black and Latino. If you are a super leftist and if you're super right, oftentimes you went white. Yeah. It makes sense because like ultimately guys, like a lot of people, and I think sometimes these apolitical women who are considered to be from the enclave and don't have a lot of opinions on politics. Maybe they are drinking a lot of boba. They like anime. They're part. Maybe they're born in Asia. You mean they have a Crunchyroll yeah. subscription, or at least somebody in their family? Or, does. or they're ABGs. I would imagine that Asian men rank number one in these eyes. Because if you are super political, you are probably going to get with a man who represents one of the people <laughs> on the political spectrum. It just makes sense. It honestly makes sense. Like. 
if a girl plays like lacrosse, I'm going to think she dates a white guy. If a girl is a hooper and played like D3, D2, D1, I'm going to think probably she dated a black guy if she dates guys. To be honest. Right. It, it, you just show your life through your interests and like the worlds that you spend your time, the fishbowls you inhabit. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's like one for one. I don't think it's 100%. I'm not saying that at all. Obviously, a lot of Asian women do marry and get with Asian guys, but we're just saying... We, you generally understand the trend. Um, this last comment said, I think that Asian women are coming down in their white worship slowly, whereas black and Latina women are slowly opening up to white guys. So it's actually like, interestingly enough, they're coming closer to each other because Asian women are becoming less white worshiping over time and black and Latina women are almost opening up to white guys over time. Mm, I, so it's almost like this huge chasm is closing i guess to normal i don't know everybody's in the same spectrum this is a comment guys don't kill me i uh, read the internet comments i mean i guess it sort of makes sense as a macro trend that asian women because they were so hard on marrying whites for a while that it's it's cooling off and then other women are more open to marrying whites because i think a lot of white dudes are also more open to different cultures i think it's true Spanish. in the past White women, white dudes were only open to Asian women. Yeah, and I see white dudes with black women and all this. So I, I generally think things are mixing more. Even Asian guys. I see a lot of Asian guys. If you go to the West Coast, we just got back from L.A. I see a lot of Asian dudes with Lati what I believe are Latino women. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. So I think it's, it's what everybody in her marrying. Um, ultimately, I'll say this, man. Whether the truth is X, Y, or Z, whether you believe this University of Maryland study, um, I would say that the narrative certainly seems to be changing. Culture seems to be changing at least a little bit. Mm. Um, but yeah, obviously different groups of people who are like really into certain things. Asian girls that are really into status, they're still going white. Asian women that really want to feel down with the resistance movement are still going black and Latino. And Asian women who are apolitical are still with Asian guys as their first pick. It doesn't mean they're going to end up always with their first pick in life. But I don't know. It's cool to see a study that just like, I guess, I don't know. Was anything out of the ordinary? I guess, does it kind of show that dating or marrying is marriage i guess in this case because it was a college campus so probably most people are still dating that dating your dating preferences were a little bit politicized because if the women who were more like against the system and for minority rights dated more black and latinos and then the women who were apolitical dated Asian guys, number one. And then the women who are all about status, which is in this system, like in America, status is still like white people. In the Anglosphere, yeah. That they dated white. Then, then does, does that mean dating is political? To an extent, sort of. I would say so. So, so then that somebody called Dr. No. Umar. So then that means, so does that mean that when you judge someone's political leanings based off who they're with, that it, I don't know. Can you judge them? I don't know. You guys Well, let me know clearly the, the PhD study that is done at a pretty good university shows that there's correlation, but correlation is not causation necessarily. That's true. Correlation is not causation. That is a good point. I'll say this culture. It's changing, but it changes slow. But guess what? Andrew changes quick. You can change yourself. Mm. Also, check out Smala Sauce at smalasauce.com. Guys, this is our second relaunch. It is delicious. Um, it's a little bit cheaper, too. So check it out on the website. Um, thank you for watching this. Let us know what you think down below, guys. Hey, where did David? It's just good to be able to bring up this topic and not make it feel like, oh, we're just some, like, Reddit Asian dudes. Rice cell? Yeah. No. We're well, just the study was clearly done by an Asian woman and a... I believe LGBT yeah. guy. Yeah. Like she said, uh, Asian American women's racialized dating choices have drawn widespread attention from both in the academic and public spheres. That is the most academic way to put it. It's just drawn attention. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, hopefully that was insightful. And until next time, we are out. Peace. Peace.